Hello you, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great summer. Welcome in this new video of The Great Truth Summer School. Hello to you too, so welcome in this conference where uh, we're going to understand that becoming famous on YouTube is a long-term strategy. Because I will try to explain to you uh, uh, that I, it's better to um, think this project in the long term rather than on a buzz. Because when I was starting this whole project, I was like, yeah, I really want to become famous quickly and I want to make a buzz and to create viral content. Um, but we will see that, uh, unfortunately, um, if I want to become famous, it's, it's to create a massive dissensus to be able to subvert uh, a system and to change our society. And uh, for that, my voice needs to be heard. And if we create a buzz content, it's rather a well-known image than a fam famous person. So to do so, we, we are uh, going to refer to a book from Crystal Abedin, Internet Celebrity, Understanding Fame Online, where um, she describes two types of viral content. One is the eyewitness viral stars, which is people uh, interviewed uh, by a traditional media in a random or local event. And then the, the person interview has a weird thing. So the video is discovered by somebody from the internet community, a surfer, and then he creates maybe a song about it. He posts it and then it gets uh, reposted, remixed. Uh, it, it creates, it makes a GIF and, it, and then it becomes viral in the whole internet community based on um, this first interview. And Crystal emphasized that the video becomes famous, but the character behind it doesn't. I quote, and once the viral sensation is relegated into archives of internet memory, what's there to make of the person behind the virality? Page 43. Well, guess what? Nothing. And Crystal even adds, a rare minority of eyewitness viral star can groom their transition celebrity into slightly extended but ultimately short-lived fame. Page 43. So I need to become famous in the long term, and I must forget uh, 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 about viral content. And this happens more or less the same with, with memes. Um, I quote, the context of the image, the backstory of the situation, and the original identity of the person photographed are stripped away to the point that the person becomes reduced to a mere icon, a face of a meme. Page 45. So it means that the virality is more related to an image or an icon, but not to a persona, a celebrity. So if I want to change the world, I won't be able to do it as a mere icon or a short-lived fame. To subvert a system, I need a sustainable audience, a well-seated fame. I hope you appreciated uh, this uh, video about becoming famous a long-term project. If it's the case, please give me a like, leave a comment in the section below. And if it's not done yet, please subscribe to this channel, Grey Truth Like That. We will become famous more quickly. Okay, and I'll see you next week with another video of the Grey Truth Summer School.